the moment. But, Odd, you, you've been trying to make this film for a couple of years now. It's, it's just a financial matter. Um, and, and you experienced harassment as well. But the fact is that what Zoe saw there uh, is a demonstration that very little has changed, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. When you look at uh, Weinstein and all the other powerful men who have been accused of sexual harassment and sexual assault, not much has happened to them since, unfortunately, since Me Too. In terms of trial, in, in, in terms of compensation for the victims, there was that whole movement and everyone was talking about it. But one or two years down the line, it really seems like people have, people don't really care about it. And the potential perpetrators, I mean, when I mean potential, people who have been accused of being perpetrators haven't really, they haven't really felt much negative, well, negative impact. Well, he feels yeah. no shame if he's sitting yeah. there, you know, lapping yeah. it all up, et cetera, et cetera. But when I say nothing perhaps has changed, do you think it's because it, it, it had a, a wave of popularity and everybody was sort of saying, yes, 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 me too, me too, me too. And, and suddenly it's no longer in the spotlight. Mm. Or have we seen some incremental changes that might lead to a better future for those people on the end of all this? Well, I feel like the main change is that nowadays we can talk about issues surrounding sexual crimes and sexual assault, which wasn't necessarily the case a few years ago. Mm. Victims feel like um, survivors, sorry, do feel like they might be able to talk about it. But when it comes to the change, well, outside of it, I really don't think there's much change, especially in an entertainment industry where so many people start so young are being preyed upon by much older people. Yeah. And, and, and it appears oh, that they're yeah. quite prepared to be compliant, if you like, yeah. rather than willing participants, but be compliant if it gets them where, where they want to go. Would you say that's no, unfair no. of me to say that? Yes, yeah, I would well, say... Zoe was saying, you know, there's a room full of people there but it really... who are all keeping quiet because they're worried about their future careers. The thing when it comes to sexual crimes is that power is the most important thing. Uh, you want to put this out on film. Yeah. Uh, it's been in incubation, let's put it that way, for, yeah. for, for a little while. But this is, what, a 15-minute film of your personal experiences or um, three girls, three different girls? Three different girls. Yeah. Um, both experiences that I've had and my friends have had when we were growing up because it was common practice to be harassed by much older men when we were um, teenagers or twins. And that was something that we saw as normal actually, it was even like a badge of honor. You were seen as ugly if you were not being chatted up by um, older men, which is, when you think about it, very toxic, but we we're very young and we didn't have the tools or the words to talk about it. And you know, when it comes to, I mean, the topic of men always come forward and how they can be better a lie, how they can not be scared. Well, there's something about power where we always have to manage men's feelings even when it's not about them. There's also another thing about them where it's like, if you're one of the good ones, why do you care so much about be, the others being called out? So um, I know well, that... According to Zoe, the, the, all men are complicit. All men are complicit, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because the good ones benefit from the bad ones because then they can elevate themselves by saying, I'm not one of the bad ones, so I should... Well, you can't win then, can you? Well, that's the thing, well, though. Women and non-binary people can also not win because they're literally, they're being oppressed. So the thing is, I would say, because plenty of people have asked me and I've had plenty of men in yeah. my team as well. And the question is not so much how can you win, but how you can support perpetrators, including other men who've also been, obviously. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel for more writing and filmmaking related videos. If you want to support my small business and my work, look at my website as well as my books available on most stores. Thanks for today. Goodbye.